So good morning everybody. Carlos here doing a walk around the gorge waterway today, trying not to get run over by demon e-bikers breaking the speed limit. Yep, there's definitely a plan to limit the speed on these uh, shared rail trails because some of those e-bike drivers are really quite irresponsible. Just because they can go at 40 kilometers an hour doesn't mean that they should. These cyclists, so that's, that was an e-bike. This one is a regular bike. And uh, e-bike, e-bike, yep. There are definitely as many e-bikes as regular bikes nowadays, especially on these well-used rail trails. All right, so I'm not gonna spend the entire time talking about e-bikes, I promise. Very soon I'll be away from e-bike territory. Just about to go under the painted bridge. I have the camera mounted on my chest, so I won't really be able to. Hi. I won't really be able to uh, angle the camera for the shots. So I'm going to use my phone and take some incidental shots with that, which will tie in nicely with the uh, relive video, which will accompany this episode. Try not to get the camera, the phone in, in the v lens of the camera as I step off the trail. Hi. Hello. That's one of the guys in the hands and the gal. Yep, this is quite a beautiful walk that I'm going to take you on. Hopefully I won't mess up the audio too much. I'll keep track of my progress. This is where you start hearing seagulls more often than crows. We're quite near the water now. Hello. The uh, water in the gorge is semi seawater. When the tide comes in, the seawater comes in and flows up into the waterway, which makes it salty. And then when the tide goes down, the water from the land comes back into the gorge and creates it more of a freshwater way. All right, so without taking the camera off my chest, I will take a, a shot from way down below the view of the lens from my chest. If you can imagine the chest is mounted right in the middle of my solar plexus, my sternum, I should say. The bow is the stern. The wind is quite strong today, but luckily I will have the wind at my back pretty soon, I think. It's at my face at the moment. And I'm going to be turning through 90 degrees to the right as I approach the Selkirk trestle. To my left is one of the old wooden pipes that they used to use for channeling the water. The water system was run through wooden pipes, basically like a very long barrel 
a barrel with no ends. Hello. where the railway line used to cross the gorge as it, as it uh, ro rolled into Victoria, into the industrial area of Victoria. There used to be a, a mill, a wood mill there that used to take the logs off the trains and cut them up into board feet. All right, so I've been moving for eight minutes, which means that I've probably been recording video for about six minutes as I move across to give you a view of the little island there. That is a sacred spot for the native people. burial ground where they used to, well not, they didn't bury them in the ground, they used to bury them or at least they used to lay out the, the dead for the birds to uh, eat the flesh. I hope the wind isn't getting to you through the, through the microphone, it's certainly getting to me. I'm wearing short sleeves today, I'm not sure why. I had a sweater on for my e-bike ride, but uh, I decided to take it off when I put on my camera harness. But now I'm feeling the cold a little bit. The sky has cleared, as you can probably see. It's looking quite good. Just coming up to my first kilometer. Ten minutes of moving time. So I'm doing about, as you can easily calculate, ten minutes per kilometer. I will keep you posted on my progress. I'm going to keep the intensity up a fair bit today. I should be able to improve on 10 minute kilometers. Oh, here's my favorite herb for chewing on. I'll save some for later. So I'm now chewing. Ten minutes twenty per kilometer. As I turn to the left, to the right. Sorry, I have a little bit of a tr problem with my lefts and my rights. Hi. So now you can see. We're on gravel, and as I predicted, it's got a lot less windy now, sheltered by the bushes somewhat. This is where a lot of the old money of Victoria first settled bought up the prime real estate on the edge of the waterway. Hi there. Hello little guy.
so I'm chewing, I'm not talking. It has a nice anise flavour. It's weird nowadays, on the millennial generation, tattoos are more of a norm than uh, my generation, for sure. When I was young, the only people with tattoos were ex-cons and sailors. There's the swimming platform and the swimming dock over there. I'm going to get a little closer to it. I'll probably walk right onto it. Not the swimming platform. I'd have to get in the water to get over to there, but the dock, the swimming dock. Yep. Most 30 year olds nowadays have tattoos. At least in the first world. I'm not so sure about the second and third world. In fact, I'm not even sure what the second world is. I have a good idea what the third world is. 10 minutes 21 per kilometer. My heart rate hasn't really crept up yet. I meant to spend most of this episode talking about my drinking, or lack thereof. I pretty much exclusively only drink alcohol that I make myself, mainly beer. And uh, as a brewer, it is tempting to drink whenever you're hungry, mainly because beer is cheaper than a sandwich for me. A third of a litre, which is the size of bottle that I brew, is about 40 cents. And uh, any sandwich that you might want to buy or make, it's going to cost you at least a dollar in ingredients. So you can see how it is cheaper to drink beer than it is to eat. And uh, being lazy and frugal, I tended to take that option of drinking beer instead of eating which is not terribly good for you in the long term, especially if you're an athlete, which I purport to be. All right, so there are some kids playing on the swimming dock and on the swimming platform. They've obviously got there by boat, by stand-up paddleboard. I hope you're getting this. Probably are. It is very scenic here. Hello, dog. I better go this way. Hi. situated here in this part of the world. And down, down, down. Apologies to the audio followers. Today is not going to be terribly inspiring because a lot of it is based on eye candy. There is the swimming dock. I guess people could fish from there, but there might be a restriction as I climb back up to the road level. 
up. There's a porta potty there too. That's good to know. This is Selkirk Avenue or Selkirk Road. I will correct myself when I have the information. Yep. I'm getting a little better at checking on the angle and the state of the movie capture. Hi there. I have to be super friendly today with a strapped on camera. I have to remain pleasant and approachable. Hi. It's amazing. It's almost like you're wearing a little flag saying, talk to me. Like those guys at marathons that go around with a little sandwich board saying, ask me, for people who are not sure where they should be lining up for which corral, that kind of stuff. Not that I would really know about that, not being part of the active, competitive scene. I just got pinged. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let me see if I can elucidate. Ah, it says to here, buy beer ingredients, the 22nd of August, two days away from my birthday. I have already anticipated that need. I've parked my bike, my e-bike, and locked it outside the beer store. Getting back to my drinking. Yep, I have given my liver a three-week break so far. There are two reasons why. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna spit. The fibers of the herb that I was chewing, I just got rid of most of the strings. That's it. Yep. Two reasons why I don't brew in August. One is to remind me of my near-death experience on August the 10th when I crashed my motor scooter on the highway and almost died. I could have been run over by a semi-truck. Luckily, as you can imagine, I did not get run over. Oh, this is cute. I've never seen this before. I'll take a photograph of my phone. The mushroom garden. This guy is obviously a fungologist. Yep, I don't mind seeing my shadow in this one. That's new since I was last here. He's got fungi all over the place. He must be a fungi. Interesting. When I was last here about a month ago, the builders and the landscapers were still here. They have now moved on. Job done. So 22 minutes of moving time so far. 10 minutes 38. No, I'm slacking again. I have to pick, pick up the pace somewhat. As I check on my on the progress of my video. Hang on. Three minutes more on this clip. Yep, so this is where the old money first bought up the shoreside property. Mm -hmm. 
today's episode will have music accompanying the, f the, the video because of the moments of no speak. I remember making a, an episode way back in the day called When Not to Speak and when to speak. That was another one, the, the sequel. There is no need to speak continuously as long as there is something to entertain the audience. You can probably see from my shadow that I'm wearing short sleeves but long pants. So I'm still trying to find out the name of this thoroughfare. I will tell you in a second. Dingley Dell is that one. Selkirk Avenue, officially. It is officially Selkirk Avenue. So getting back to the near-death experience. Yep, I was drunk. No denying it. But I thought, in my, I don't know, I guess 45-year-old bravado, that I could survive a ride home inebriated. But I was almost tragically wrong. So, in memory of August the 10th, I quit driving, or in my mind I quit driving. Unfortunately, I still had to drive for my job, so I had to basically be a lot more strict with my consumption. As soon as I turned 60, not having the need to, dr to dr drive to work. I quit driving altogether so I could continue with my beer drinking and beer making. The other reason that I quit brewing in August was the fact that my basement is not terribly cool in those, in that month, in this month of August. The next section is going to get progressively noisier, so I can skip that um, inevitable section of this walk and just take a few more photographs with my phone for the relive video. 10 minutes 31 is my average pace at the moment, which is probably not going to get much better today. So, as I approach Tillicum Road and uh, the Gorge Road, well, maybe it's Gorge Road. No, it's that's right, Tillicum Crosses Gorge. I'm going to go back onto the other side now. I used to know the woman that lived in this house. She was a handy dart driver. So, six more minutes of video and uh, I'm done. I think I'll just leave it. It's going to get noisy because of the traffic on Tillicum Road, but uh, that can't be helped, unfortunately. It is all about the walk, after all. I'm still an athlete stroke movie maker. I'm not a movie maker stroke athlete. So. The movie making has to fit in with my 
activities as an athlete. So this is why I'm not going to bother about talking too much more. I minutes 30 per kilometer. I managed to knock a minute off my, a second off my pace per kilometer. It's going to get faster than once I put the camera away for today. That was the kind of scooter I crashed on. So I think I've covered the drinking thing. The last thing I wanted to mention is that Taking a liver break for a few weeks has given me additional liver enzymes which have helped me to generate more glycogen and use it better. Whereas my liver before was basically detoxifying the alcohol in my system. Now, it's been used for what it's supposed to be used for as the chemi chemi chemistry lab of the body. I'm going to go out on Thursday for my birthday with my family and I'm going to have two beers and then I'm going to wait until my beer is ready which will probably be almost ready by the 1st of September. It takes about 10 days for my beer to be fully ready to drink. It gets better for about two weeks after that. Two and a half minutes more of video, which will take me across the bridge, the Gorge Road Bridge. This is where it's very easy to tell if the tide is coming in or going out. Last time I was here, they had one of those outflows where the gorge was really disgorging. And it was quite a torrent of water coming out under this bridge. Today it won't be so much. giving the cyclists some room. All right, the next little opening after this tree, I will turn and give you the full 360. All right, so that's Mount Finlayson, the one with that bald patch on the front face. That's the top of the gorge up there. And as I slowly turn around, trying not to get the camera right behind the balustrade. I'm shining it right down against the sun here. Apologies, get out your sunglasses. So this is Carlos the running jackal on a semi-speedy walk, which is only going to get speedier from now on saying bye-bye to you all from the Gorge Waterway. Bye-bye.